In this video, we will be breaking apart records of comma-separated value data that all landed inside the same cell. As you can see, I have imported some test data into Excel. The data came in as comma-separated values, but unfortunately, it did not separate each record out into a different row as I was hoping. So there are really two problems here. The first problem is to break this data into rows. The second problem is then to break each of our rows into individual fields. To begin with, I need to know how many fields are in each record. In my case, I have first name, last name, email address, street address, city, state, and zip code. So that's seven fields for each record. What I need to do then is to replace every eighth comma with a semicolon so that I can identify the ending point of each individual record. Then we can use text to columns to break everything apart. To replace the commas, we can use the regex replace function. This function uses a regular expression pattern to identify and replace every eighth comma with a semicolon. If regular expressions sound scary, don't panic. You don't have to understand everything you're typing to make this work. I'm going to click on B5 and enter the function equal to regex replace open paren. The next parameter that it wants is the text that it's going to be working with. So I'll click on B3 and then enter a comma. And now I'm going to enter my regular expression. This is the part that uh, there's a good chance you won't understand what I type. And that's okay because if you need to change things, I'll show you when I'm done typing it, what to change to make it work for you. Here we go. I'm gonna do a quote and then two open parentheses, a question mark and a colon, and then an open square bracket, a caret symbol, which is a shift six and a comma, and then a closed square bracket, asterisk, and comma and close parenthesis then a curly brace the number seven and a closed curly brace by the way if you have a different number of fields you'll replace my seven with your number of fields that you need to work with then an open square bracket another caret symbol another comma close square bracket, an asterisk, a parenthesis, a comma, and a close quote. So there's my regular expression. What it is saying is ignore the first seven commas that you find and then choose the eighth. Ignore the next seven and choose the eighth. Again, if you need to change this for your use, you can replace the seven with the number of fields that you have in your case. If you wanted to use a different character than comma, you would have to go in here and replace the commas after the caret symbol and also the comma after the asterisk. All right, after that, I'm going to say comma and we have to enter one third parameter. This is quote, dollar sign one, semicolon, close quote, and then close parenthesis. This last parameter is saying we want to have one output field and we're going to replace commas that we find are every eighth comma with a semicolon. When you're done typing that, make sure everything is correct and then hit enter. And here's my output from that function. And to check it, I'm going to look after every zip code to make sure that I have a semicolon instead of a comma. So if I click on the, the field, you can see up here it's a function, but if I look across the output values, I can see after 90210, I've got a semicolon. After 62701, I've got a semicolon. So it looks like it worked just fine. The next problem is, is that while my output is correct, the contents of the cell is a function so I can't do text to columns on the function. So what I want to do is copy the output and paste it into a new cell as data. So I'm going to go to B5. I'm going to right click and say copy. I'll click on B7, right click and choose paste values, 
which is clipboard one, two, three. And now in B7, if I click on that, you can see that I have data. We're ready to break this apart into individual rows. To do that, click on the data tab, click on text to columns, we're going to tell it that we want our data to be delimited and then click next. In this case, I don't want comma or space. What I want is the semicolon. And then I can click finish. Now notice that if I, it didn't look at first like anything changed, but if I click on C7, I can see I have the equivalent, uh, the equivalent of a record. If I click on D7, here's another record. E7, there's another record. So great, that is working. Now I'm just going to select all the way across so that I choose all of my records. And then I'll right click on that and say copy. Let's jump down to B9 and I'll right click and this time I'm going to do paste transpose which is the clipboard that has the arrow pointing down and to the right and when I choose paste transpose it takes all the records that I copied from above and puts them in in their own row so we've conquered the first problem which is breaking them into their own rows now we need to break them apart into individual fields again I can use text to columns. I need to select all my rows because I want to do them all at the same time. So here I've selected B9 all the way through B38. And now I'll do text to columns. Again, I want delimited. So I'll hit next. This time I don't want the semicolons. I want commas. You can see from the sample data here that it's dividing it correctly, so that looks good. And I can click Finish. And now it's broken my data into separate columns. I'm going to go back and double click on my regex replace function because that's probably the heart of this tutorial.